the code is going to do is this it will take some source uh, for showing purpose i am taking only four source so this will take this four name and it will hit on a all possible combination okay so it will take each time for each combination two items so if i click this it will return this so let me clear first and then the, you click this so okay. so first virtual chapai next virtual chagat virtual chitaga that after that chapai chagat chapai chitaga and chagat chitaga so there will be six unique combination from this four source and taking at a time and if i change this so three it will take three at a time and if i click this then there will be four unique combination click this four there will be only one unique combination taking four at a time okay so at first i'm going to show you the code so let me show you the code So this is the calling micro that I run when I click the button. At first, I declare some variable, and then I call the function combination. And all these things are formatting related things. So I step through it. So it calls combination function. Okay. So it takes two parameters: its source range and R. So R is the amount which you want to take for each combination two item for each combination okay so at first i declare variable as variant of array so i will take the range value to an array range one and i use transpose function for converting this to an on dimensional array so if i add and watch then it will take it to another side okay so this so, so i just convert to an one dimensional array okay so it's take this value Borishal, Chapai, Chargat and Chitra okay so one thing is when we are converting a range value to an array its indexing is start from 1 not 0 so you need to be clear about this okay okay and then I calculate total possible combination taking R at a time from this array so i use offset function combine so this value will be six so there will be six possible combination by taking two at each two at a time then i am going to check that if total combination is greater than the row limit of excel so if it's that case then it's should return a message box uh, that will show you that it cannot be stored in Excel because Excel has row limit 10 lakh 48,576 row. So as I start to paste the data from second row, so it will be show you 75 row. Okay. So then. I just put the value of total combination to this text box okay. sorry to this cell so it's also not necessary and then I'm going to read dimension the result array I declare a public variable result as a variant so I just redimensioning so it will take total combination so there will be six combination and r minus one so why i am using r minus one because uh, this array is not from range so it's index from zero so if i show you that's its index is start from zero zero okay so zero 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 one so it's index from zero and i already 
declare one plus dimension because there will be six possible combination but I have seven row of data so one two three four five six seven okay then I am going to call the recursive function which will return the combination okay so recursive function uh, take this parameter first one is the array second one is how much item I take for each combination and the each one is T, E and H you will understand when we explain this in later ok so so there is a loop for f equals to 1 to you want array so I have 4 source data right so it will run from 1 to 4 ok and it will change the value uh, and spit out the all combination ok so in this line what I am doing is this I pass 0 as H and 0 for E also so I am storing value for this one okay so zero zero and for this I am storing the first element or array f element to this section okay so it just take the body shell or first element okay then it going to check if I already put all the value or it will check that it's empty or not check it so if it's not empty then it will call the recursive function again so this is the most interesting part okay so when I am call the recursive function again so as I declare this variable f again so it will return as 0 because I am declaring it again so what I did I just pass the value of d to f plus 1 so I have data now I have f equals to 1 so I cannot change the f because it will just put the value of f equals to 0 when it cross this line again when I am called this function so what I did I just increase the value of d so f plus 1 and for indexing this one second element 0 1 so I am using e plus 1 all this variable is by reference so it will change the value of f ok and one more thing when I cross this line for the first time so this is for the first time and for this our variables value are let's say write it down so it will be better for understanding this ok so for first our first if our value for h equals to 0 you can check it right now so it's 0 yeah and e equals to 0 yes and d equals to 1 so it will help us to understand the working principle of this recursive function okay so when it cost if then it's written false then it will it goes to the else and it's call the recursive function again so our first if is not completed yet ok so again I call the recursive function again it put the second value so empty to the second element so f equals to 2 now I just did not change the value of f I just changed the value of t so it is started from the d so it just take the value of f equals to 2 but I didn't change this next if next f ok I just change the value of d so it is start from the f so again it's we are going to check that our all this element is filled or there is empty and if this second dimension is has uh, three elements then there will be a, on more empty data then it will go to the 
next else function okay so now it going to the return true because i already filled the all the value so now what it will do it will just copy this value to the new row okay so just it just copy this data and after copying it so our index is changed to 1 so there was 0 first index and now I need to change this index 0 to 1 so I just increase the value of h so now I can access the index of h ok so this time our if is just going to end but it's not the first end end right ok so now it will go to the next f ok so next f so our f hello right now 3 so what it will do so our third element of array target it will pass this to this so I already changed the value of h which was 1 uh, previously was 0 so I just increase this value by 1 here and e was 1 or last element or this one chapai so I need to change this because these two are same ok so I just change the last element so it says go to the chart ok so it will go to the this f section again it will true so it will just copy the this data to this section so copy after that I again increase the value of h again in if but it's not for the first if then next if and then again I need to change this value to the fourth element ok so at first it takes this Borishal Chapai then Borishal Targa then Borishal Chittagon ok so just keep the first element uh, for every possible value of second element ok so click this and it's just change the value for the last element and again it's going to the this section I just copy the previous data to the new section ok so again I use I increase the value of h and this time it's going to end if but it's not the first if function ok so now check this value of f so it's 4 our upper bound is 4 so when I just cross this it returns the value of f equals to 5 so this time the function or loop is executed for all the value so it's just executed for all this value ok so this time it will go to the end function now it's going to the first if statement which was already on hold because of recursive calling of this ok so that time I store the value for the variable e equals to 0 and d equals to 1 so now if I add watch d and e so now you can see that it just if I click this then it will return to the previous data ok so t was 1 e was 0 and f was 1 ok so, <coughs> so for the first one when it going to the next if it just increase the value of f to 2 so now it will change the value of the second element because by fixing Borishal I already got all the possible combination right so I need to change this now ok so I don't need to change this it's already changed for all possible value 
so just it need to change this one so it just change the first element to the next element so at first i fix this so borishal 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 and then change all the possible value so i fix the first one then take the next one fixed works one take next one fixed first fixed first one take the next one and after that there is there are no value all the possible value are already taken or all the possible combination are already taken then what i need to do i just need to uh, change the value of first one so i need to go to the next one so this one so that's what we are doing here okay so I just change the value it was just copy of this but you shall see down now it just change the value of 30 for this region i store the value of def for the first if okay so for the first if the d was 1 and e was 0 and f was 2 right so it just change the value okay so when we hit this again it's going to the else then it will call the recursive function again and just it change the second value okay <coughs> and it's just copy this and again it's increase the value of age and if next if and again this is the copy of this so i need to change this value checker so what it will do is just change this one to this one okay so i already did this so now i need to change this to the next possible value so it will go to the this one okay so if i click this then it will change the value of the core one element okay so now it's already filled all the value then it will go to the copy this section and it will copy this section and after that it will increase the value of h for accessing the next index okay so and if next if and now if value of f is 5 okay so it's already crossed the limit of this so it will in the function and it will go to the second f so when that was happened the value of d was 1 e was 0 and f was 2 okay so if we click this next one so it will now keep what it will do i already get all the possible value by fixing this so chapai this section okay chapai target chapai cheetah gun now what it will do it just change the value of the first element to the next element to target and then it will go to the for all possible value by fixing this for all possible value so it will just go to the next section and it just copy the data from the previous one so it will change this one at first so first it mean it will be changed and then so it just changed and this change right okay so target and cheat again. okay okay after that already this value is fixed so I just copy this data, target, target, and now it will copy the cheating data, cheating. Okay, after that it will increase the value of h, and now it's fixed the value of this, and go to the all possible value. Uh, we should already stop the recursive function in here, but what I am doing, I just copy the value again this one to this one okay so end if 
just go to the next step and just copy the data okay so it just replace this value to the first value as we are changing the value of first element first then next element so it's already done and it's completed after that end function or recursive function is closed then we just return the result to this function and then here what i was doing we have got uh, seven combination and the last one is just the copy of data okay so we don't need that one or last row of data so at first i am clearing the previous content from this section okay just clearing this section okay so let's go to this section and just clear it okay now you can see just clear the data so now it going to put the value so here is the twist okay so i don't need the last row from the result array so what i did i just use upper bound up to the upper bound so i don't need to use plus one if i add plus one then it will go to up to that and so for the first indexing i just use upper bound and the second one as it's a zero based indexing so i add plus one so it will exclude the last row element and it just put the value into this section okay so and all the things are just uh, for formatting so i just exclude this from this data so that's it so now i'm going to show you what's the capability of this function okay so now it takes for value and for each combination it takes two data so i'm going to take all this 23 value okay source value and i will return the combination by taking nine item each time okay so i'm going to change this nine and i'm going to change this section so a2 so it will be 24 okay right I am right yes 24 so if i click this it will take some times you know uh, there will be almost 8 lakh 17,190 combination so it will take some times to return all this combination result and one more thing it just call again and again so that's it it just written all the possible combination which is 817,190 combinations so i'm going to show you that it's written all the data it's take time because uh, formatting and it's written a lot of data okay so it's take time so if you want to do this for a small amount of data then it will run quickly so this is the output result okay so i'm going to show you the that it's written all the possible comments yes so eight like seventeen thousand one hundred and ninety one because our um return should start from second row so it's just plus one okay so that's it so let's say if we want to minimize this okay so let's it first the result from exit function combine so our source has 23 data and i'll take this amount each time so, so just return this amount of combination so if i select six then it will return so one leg possible combination so now check this click this 
uh, it will return one leg possible combination okay that's it so for one leg it just take small amount of time so if i use three and check this there will be 70 100 possible combination if you click this it's written the data so for large amount of data it takes time if we change this to four there will be 8000 i click this just for the result we click this five there will be 33000 and that's the result okay so one more thing and uh, to show you that if you want to you know the combination for a number okay so this is the source data and source and i have to run this macro for there is uh, six data okay. so i want to run but taking three at a time so i need to change the source so I'm going to just change the source. This one. Now the source is B7 to B12. So B7 to B12. Okay. Now like this, there will be. 20 possible combination okay so this is the total possible combination so if you want to find that all the sum of this data so if I want to find that which combination has sum of 15 so if sum of this section equals to 15 then I want to Return yes, so this is the combination, otherwise, no, so otherwise, there's a blank. So, so, it's a blank if I click this, yes, so there will be two combination 2310 and 357 by taking this amount of data. If I want to return 15. Let's say if I want to check this if it's less than or equals 15, then just use this one. Sorry, and copy this formula to the up to up. So then this is the output result. So that's it.